What's up, everybody? This is Peggy Fox from Famous in the I have Nino Brown. We're the best artists in the building. We're here at the studio with, with Nino Brown, and we are getting all the information on Nino Brown. What's up, Nino Brown? We're good. We're good. We're good. What's up with you? You've been grinding for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, a long time. You know, just feel so right right now, you know. Feel like the time here. You know, you get you get what you put in, that's what you get out. So, you know, in my eyes it take thirteen hours to build a Toyota and six months to build a Rolls Royce Phantom. Phantom. You're a fan of Yeah, take time to build. You know what I'm saying? Okay. How long have you been in the game? Man, I've been doing this here about nine years. And you know, um, I had a lot of, I call it molding, a lot of little encounters when, you know, it's all about knowledge. I, I just was sharpening my pencil. You know what I'm saying? I went through a lot of little transitions and shit to make me a smarter person. I always had the talent. I damn sure had the hustle. So it's like when I combined the two and learned the music business, it took me to another level. And now you got me no problem, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you're with We The Best, DJ Khaled. Yeah. How, did, how did that happen? Khaled seen me hustling. I used, to, I used to have a spot at the Rolex right in front of the strip club. Um, and kind of seen me hustling, you know, doing my little thing. I used to sell my little. I got two DVDs out there by the name of Rich Kid, and I got a few mixtapes. And I used to be out there for selling that and shit. And then kind of to pull up and get him a little barbecue sandwich in the Rolls Royce Phantom. You know what I'm saying? All the time. And when he seen me, I'd run up on him and talk to him and shit. He he'd holler at me, but he never took me serious until one day, one of his guys came at me and said, you know what? That little dude that got a hot rap, he needed to holler at me. And then he hollered at me. And he still ain't signed off the top. He took me on the road with him for a while. I went on his first tour. It was called the Victory Tour for that album. All I do is win. And when we took him on the road, I went into every radio station and every club. But he got a guy who made my breakfast and shit. He finished and he walked in. And I was just still possessing my way to Cali. It wasn't no giving like Hans and Sun. I had to earn everything I got. Even what I got with him, I still do, you know what I mean? And you know, that's how that came about, and, you know. I earn my respect with dude, you know, and I earn my respect with a lot of the artists that do my songs and shit, because they respect the growth and the, and the, and the hustle and the talent, and they know I'm gonna be here, but he Right, Yeah, so you were selling DVDs and CDs in front of the clubs and everything, whatever you had to do trying to prove yourself to Cali. And he still hadn't signed you. He still ain't signed me, you know. He, it took a lot for Cali to believe because Cali seen the hustle. He didn't know if that was a, like I said, a Rolls Royce or a Toyota. Because you got a lot of Toyotas out there. You got the Corollas, you got all of that. So he was looking for a Phantom. And he built me to be a Phantom. And when he built me, you know, I, I, shit, I, I'm so molded right now, I don't think I could never break down. You know what I mean? You don't need on star with me. You gonna, we gonna grow. So Khaled to has just totally molded you into a we the best artist. Like he's like, what do you think? As far as like how much? Basically, he gave you the the game, the music game. Oh, definitely. When you around Khaled, you gonna learn for one how to deal with artists, how to deal with emotions, how to deal with people, how to deal with these pro program directors. For instance. My records that be on the radio in my city, Khaled never talk for me on no radio tip. I always go see the PD myself. And I finesse my way through Gary Baker and all the other PDs in the town and they play my music for no money. Because I learned so much dealing with Khaled going across the globe and city to city how he do it. I took that finesse and applied it with my hustle and learned how to talk to people. And I always had good records. You can't deny the talent. You gotta respect. You gotta respect the growth. You know what I mean. So 
Every time, you know, I learned a lot from Canada, man. I learned how to get people on my shit. I learned how to politic. Canada is like Floyd Mayweather when it comes to politics. You ain't gonna never corner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I learned a lot of that shit, and I applied it with my streets and my corporate thug and shit. And, uh, and you know, you got to know, brother. You know, rich kid. Okay. Rich kid. Rich kid. Call it that. Okay. So rich kid, how do you? How did you do the transition between rich kid and Nino Brown, and what made you? you know, do the transformation and, you know, change the name and, you know, how, how, how did you do that? And what made you do that? What made me do that was I started thinking. I said, you know what? When I retire and I got all these platinum albums and I walk into a game and sit courtside, do I want them to say at seven years old, welcome rich kid when I'm seven? No. So what character or what can I portray myself as a brother? You know, I'm still a rich kid, uh -huh. but I feel like Nino Brown fit me so well because Nino Brown was a bad motherfucker. If you look at the movie, I like Nino Brown character because he portrayed money, success. You know, even though he was a cold-hearted person, but I'm still cold to the hoes. I ain't gonna lie. But <laughs> you still with me. But I'm trying to tell you is. I got Nino Brown hard and I just ain't got hit. Uh, you know, that's a movie. Nino Brown the Black Scarface. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just respect that guy. You know what I mean? That movie, that whole aura they was giving off in that movie. So I like that character and I play it well. Okay, well, Nino Brown, he sold drugs. Do you sell drugs? Or have you ever sell, sold drugs? Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course I sold drugs. I sold a lot of things. I sold a lot of things. You know what I mean? A real gangster don't get his hands dirty. So I call shots, you know what I mean? Yo, mm -hmm. you know, they need that, go bring that, go get that, and I just get the yeah. money. I touch green, I don't touch white. I know about green, I know so about So you did the, a lot of directing and... Yo, yeah, I'm a director, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do a lot of that shit, dog. So, yeah, I, I, I appoint this medication like a patient to a doctor, you know what I mean? I did a lot of that shit back in my day, but I got over that. I'm just selling records right now. Right. Doing music and trying to get my album out and all that kid is also a dude that had big dreams and that used to walk around with a lot of shit that probably I made broke look good because I was broke back then calling myself rich kid and I just had big ambitions and big dreams and a big hustle so if I if I wanted some I save up a month just hustling to go get it just to say I had it if I seen some Louis shoes and I know I ain't had no thousand to put up I save it for five weeks and go get that because that's what I wanted. I wanted to look like her man or, or this one or that one because they had that and they looked good. So I mean, that's what Rich Kid was. Rich Kid was a dude that turned something into, you know, turned nothing, nothing into, into something. something. Right. Turned a penny to a, you know, a hundred and turned a hoop into a Bentley. That's what Rich Kid was. But you know, Brown is the dude that's establishing himself into the dude that Rich Kid was trying to be. Just the transition, like T I T I P. Right. So. But Rich Kid made a lot of connections. Rich Kid did a lot of shaking and moving, and did a lot of production. And it's nothing less with it. It's nothing less with Nino Brown. Nino Brown doing the same thing. Nino Brown just more or less more uh, fulfilled, more connected now. Like people respect that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm connected worldwide. Rich Kid was just in the city. Mm -hmm. Nino Brown just evolved around Cali, mm -hmm. New York, LA. You know what I'm saying? Texas. I done been across the world two, three times and I shook everybody's hand once. So. Private jets and everything. Oh you know? man, I done did it all, dog. Private cool, five star buses, six, seven star hotel. I don't know if they make those, but I done stayed in a dog. <laughs> I mean, or you dog. thought you was that one, huh? I mean, I ain't gonna lie to do it all, dog. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love this shit. I ain't gonna lie, I love it. So you you would say you're living a full life right now, basically? Man, I'm just having fun, dog. And I ain't gonna lie to fulfilling my soul and making sure my kids have a better future. I don't want them to do nothing I did. I want them to live their life and be able to, you know, be able to not to need a man. You got two girls, right? Two little precious girls. I love them with all my heart. With all your heart. Yeah. How old are they? Six. One about to be four in January, so we still should say she's three. She's 
shit, we don't want them to catch up so fast. We want them to stay <laughs> baby. Then when they're dumb, when they get older, you got to grab your shotgun. And I got a few of those. And you got them spoiled right, don't you? Yeah, they too spoiled. They all go to private school. They, they get love, you know, they get around like, like I get around. But they don't drive. They got drivers and shit. They doing their thing. I'm proud of them. You know what I mean? And my baby mama, she straight. I was blessed that our baby mama ain't never put me on child support. She never threatened me. Threatened so you guys aren't together anymore? No, we ain't together. We still cool though. I look out for and shit. Like whatever she needs, she got a new house. I just got her. And, and, and she, she living good. She ain't never pay no rent and all that. She's great. That's good. That's good. So let's